The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. Hi, I'm Sean Barrett, and welcome to Northern Songs. Northern Songs is a show that shines a spotlight on Northern songwriters. We're hoping that you're going to discover talent right in your backyard, that you'll go out and support their shows, maybe pick up a disc or legally download their music, and get out there and support the, the amazing talent that we're surrounded by. I've been doing this for a long time. I started in radio in this town set 20 years ago. And as a matter of fact, Kevin Kloss was one of the first artists that I got to play. How are you doing, nice Kevin? It's good to see you. I now have Like a Knife on my iPod. Um, I thought you'd like that because I know you're... It's exciting. Yeah, and you know, as a, as a, a, a well, I'm not, a, you're not, maybe not a technophobe, I kind of am. It took me a long time to get my iPod going and I immediately took all my, you know, all my old stuff and put it on there and got really excited about that fact. So um, I've got Like a Knife and to this day the song still gives me goosebumps. Um, what have you been doing since? Uh, well, I mean, I have been a musician. I've mm -hmm. been in this town. I've been recording, mm -hmm. um, putting out CDs over the years, you know, one every two or three years. Mm -hmm. um, uh, really, I've, I've kind of pretty much stayed the course, but I think I really always plan to be a community-based musician and, and not um, really any bigger than that. I mean, it's, uh, I've done a few tours of Northern Ontario, mm -hmm. but that's kind of always been my, my home base. So I, I've just stuck around and kept doing what I'm doing. Right. What, uh, what different directions has that taken you? And I know you have a project called The Knobs. Yes, that's another uh, persona, as they say. Another persona, yeah. okay. <laughs> and, uh, and, and how is the songwriting different for a project like The Knobs than it is for the stuff that you would write yeah. say, for yourself? Or? Uh, well, I mean, songwriting for me, uh, from the very start, when mm -hmm. I was playing in bar bands in the 80s, was just, we're sick of playing other people's music, let's write our own song. So that was really the only reason for trying to write a song. Um, uh, and with a, a rock band like The Knobs, it's the same thing. We started out as a bar band, and at some point you just kind of want to try something that's your own. Um, uh, that's always been sort of the, the main impetus for me, is to just play my own music instead of somebody else's. And as you get more into learning how to write songs, you, you get into the artistic expression of it, and you know, it becomes like a personal thing. It becomes, uh, as they say, confessional. Uh, it becomes almost sort of therapy that everybody gets to watch. But, uh, and speaking of a personal thing, the song you're going to play for us, um, there's a background to this one. There's a songwriting story that goes along with it, right? A little story. Um, as a guy who writes a lot of love songs uh, and who has been happily married for uh, over 20 years, uh, when you finish a new love song, you occasionally will hear the question like, well, who is that for? <laughs> or who's that about? Right. Um, and, uh, and so I decided I got to write one for my wife and that's how this song came about. It was a it was a commission. And this is a tune called Only You. Only You. shine bring the rain down from the summer sky only you can paint the springtime you make the winter sing an autumn sigh Only you can dream the morning Can weave the night around the brightest noon Only you can take a lifetime And make forever seem a day too soon Ask the wise to help me 
try to find a clue only you Climb the highest hill to get a better view. Only you. Mm-hmm. Only you. And what of all my dreams should none but one come true? That was really great. I love that tune, and uh, and I think Martha should too. She does. Yeah, she appreciated good. it after all those years <laughs> <laughs> of waiting and yeah. waiting and waiting for you to write a song about her. Yeah. How? What comes first? If you're going to write a song like Only You, are you writing the music first, the lyrics first? How does that usually happen for you? Um, I, I'm a bi- I'm a bit of a music first uh, person. Um, usually a riff and some kind of a uh, a hook line that seems to sound original or strike kind of an emotional chord and then I build it from there. It, it, very haphazard at the beginning of my songwriting because I, I didn't study music, I didn't uh, come at it from any sort of a professional songwriter's way, so it was haphazard. But once I got into the groove of how to come up with like an interesting take on a, on a riff or a, a lick, uh, then things seem to come, come together pretty quickly. How do you... Um how do you remember? I mean, you know, do you have to record it right away if you've got a lick or something like that? Or are the best songs the kind of thing that just kind of keeps kicking through your head and, and it doesn't go away? You know, uh, yeah, well, that's actually, you know what? The ones that I don't remember, I don't follow through on. I mean, if I have a, an idea and I can follow through with it to the end and, and come up with a song, it's done and it's in my head. If the ones that go nowhere or I don't remember them the next day, I just let them go. Mm-hmm. So it, to me, it's only the ones that, that just... Uh, stick with me and seem to be there the next day and they're they're like their own little living thing So those are the ones that I, I keep okay. Do you write do you write tunes over a period of time? Or do you find that you're a fairly? Uh, efficient and quick songwriter, you know once you've got the idea just it kind of appears and it's almost fully formed uh, Yes that okay. I, I write very few songs, but when I do come up with one it only usually takes like a couple hours uh, But there's long gaps in between songs for me. Okay, like when you say a long gap, would that be days, months, uh, years? Yeah, I mean, I maybe write three or four songs a year. Okay. It would be for me. I mean, sometimes I'll write five or six in a year, and sometimes they're all bunched together. But I mean, it's yeah, it's it's slow going. It's been twenty years, and there's twenty-five years, and there's a little over a, a hundred songs. So, you know. Okay. Why don't you play one of those licks, maybe uh, one of those sure. things that wouldn't let you go, just to, to get us out of this. I was told that this actually sounds like a TV theme, so okay. you're, you're welcome to cool. it. 